You boys look like a weird heavy metal band. <laughs> yes, we are a band. Really? Yeah. So what do you play? Symphonic, post-apocalyptic, reindeer grinding, Christ abusing, extreme war, pagan, fennoscandic metal. Right. Really interesting. <laughs> Hey, hey, everybody, DJ Nubis here with you on the Metal Time Radio podcast doing another trailer reaction. This time we're doing Humane 2024, directed by Caitlin Cronenberg. Cast consists of Jay Baruchel, Emily Hampshire, and Peter Gallagher. Plot is in the wake of an environment collapse that is forcing humanity to shed 20% of its population. A family dimmer erupts into chaos when a father's plan to enlist in the government's new euthanasia euthanasia program goes horribly awry uh yeah so look here we have another uh cronenberg we've uh if you're not familiar david cronenberg very famous director did a lot of great movies back in the day uh had his son brandon who within recent years had done stuff like possessor as well as infinity pool which uh stars me a goth who's in the magazine which i just did a trailer reaction for uh, now we have the daughter, Caitlin, and so she's going to start going into this realm of directing movies now. And uh, so I'm very curious how this will play out. Um, one of the biggest complaints I hear about Brandon is that he's a little bit too much like his dad. But the reality is, I think that you're going to sometimes get that with your your you know your kids and stuff in, in the industry, whether it's acting or directing or whatever, even athletics. Uh, they often learn from you certain techniques. So I wouldn't be surprised if Caitlin's a little bit similar to Brandon and her father, David, which is okay because they bring some interesting viewpoints. Infinity Pool is a very cool movie. It's a very cool concept. You could sit there and say all day long, it's a lot like what David would do, but it's, it's part of the heritage, the lineage of uh, the Cronenberg blood. So, uh, I think Caitlin was like a photographer prior to diving into the directing. And so she has like an eye of the camera and good camera shots and stuff. So uh, let's check it out, man. Let's, let's see what she has in store for us. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Hopefully um, it comes out pretty neat. eh? So let's give it a whirl. Check it out. This is humane. While we every day bear witness to the catastrophic ecological collapse that is plaguing our planet, we must not forget that this is, above all, a human crisis. I am in favor of this government doing whatever it takes to win this war. It's not a war. Wars have opposing sides. Humanity is the opposing side. We are engaged in nothing less than a life and death struggle against our own extinction. We are so happy you all joined us tonight for a family dinner. What is going on? We've decided to enlist. What? She's gone. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I will always love you. Hi, I'm Bob. It's them! Oh, they're early. <sighs> You're not gonna like this, but we're here to collect two bodies. I already told you Dawn left. And that's unfortunate. Oh! But the rules are the same for everybody. Think about your lives. I'm sure one of you is gonna realize that it's not all that great. I know we're family and all, but if Bob needs a second body, it's not going to be mine. What are they still doing in the house? You know, based on my experience in similar situations, I want to say, yeah, killing one another. Oh. 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 
You think I'm the bad guy. But I'm doing important work to save the planet. We can get through this, but we have to stick together. It's been a, it's been a hell of a night, huh? All right, yeah, I'm intrigued. Now, granted, this plot, you know, if you take some aspects of it, it looks familiar to some other stuff that I've seen before. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's all about the acting, the way it's written, the arrangements, uh, musical score, and the shots, of course. So, I mean, I'm interested. I'm, I'm game. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh, and it actually has a little bit more humor than I thought it would. Like I thought it might be a little bit more serious take on it, but uh, I like that they're kind of playing around and having fun with it. So uh, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, you know, like I said, I, I have kind of seen plots like this where the family's trying to do one thing, but then it ends up like they're like, almost like if you saw ready or not, it's almost somewhat like that in the sense that, you know, people are trying to kill a certain person or persons and then they end up kind of killing each other along the way. Uh, cause they're either clumsy or, you know, they don't want to, like in this case, so one girl's gone. So they have to find some other body to, to fill the need. And of course the parents don't want to be part of that group. They want, <laughs> they basically offered up their siblings or their, their younglings for this to happen to. So it's kind of funny. Uh, how do you feel about it? You know, uh, have you seen this uh, as far as the trailer? Your thoughts? Not going to check it out. Are you interested? Uh, let me know. Hit the hit the comments. Feed me. Give me some feedback. And uh, we'll talk to you next time here on the Military Radio Podcast.